What's going on, everybody? Uh, just finished watching E3 um, a little while ago for the um, Xbox One, that, that entire press conference. And, um, you know, I wanted to speak on it. Uh, as, as far as the standouts to me, I thought that um, uh, I had I had I had three that um, that really stood out to me. I had um, that Killer Instinct. I'm huge on it. Killer Instinct. I, I love Killer Instinct, man. Um, I played it pretty much, you know, during my childhood. Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct Go. I've been playing Killer Instinct um, for for years now uh, on the Super Nintendo emulators, the ZSNES, and um, on my Nintendo Wii with the little. Um, little emulator that they have hacked on there I'm able to play play uh, Killer Instinct Gold but anyway I was really hyped to see did that KI pop up in green um it, it was it, it had me hyped with the music and everything and the ultra contra it, it was it was it was cool hearing that again because I hadn't heard it for so long but the downside to Killer Instinct from what I've been seeing is just that it looks too much like Street Fighter he used to have his own little similar look kind of resembled MK, you know, it, it, it rivaled Mortal Kombat back in the day, I mean, but I can respect what Microsoft is doing with this direction, um, I will still get the game if I get Xbox One, I don't want to make any, you know, any, any, um, acquisitions yet, not acquisitions, I don't want to say, you know, which system I want to get right now, because I haven't watched the PS3 conference, the PlayStation conference, because it's kind of early, it's going to happen later on in the day, but as of right now, Killzone, not Killzone, Killer Instinct was a huge standout and Metal Gear Solid 5 was one of my favorites that I saw. I'm happy that it popped off with uh, with, with MGS. Snake is my dude. That's what um one of my very, my favorite video game characters of all time goes to Snake. You know it doesn't matter which Snake, Solid Snake or Naked Snake, Big Boss. Um, um it doesn't matter, man. I just I love Snake as a character. I love Metal Gear Solid as a franchise. It's my favorite franchise, and I'm hyped up for Metal Gear Solid. And I love the um the real time um the real time experience that you go with it like by play at four in the morning it's going to be it's going to um, replicate that into the game um I, I love the new direction of stealth how he was on the horse how, um how um, big boss was on the horse and he was kind of tilted to the side of the horse while he was running on it and it looked as if it was just a horse running and it tricked the enemies that was nice i i, I love the whole sense of direction the artistic direction the graphics look amazing uh, I know the story is going to be great because Hideo never fails when it comes to Metal Gear Solid stories. Um, to this date, Metal Gear Solid One still one of my very one of my favorite games of all time. Metal Gear Solid Three, um, Sons of Liberty was was great. Um, Guns of the Patriot was great. Peace Walk, Portable Ops, um, even the um, the Ghost um, Ghost Ghost. What do you call it? What, what, I forgot the name of it, but it's for Game Boy Color. Uh, I played um, several of these games, and man, I'm I'm, just, I'm impressed with what I see with Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, it's going to be amazing with what's going to happen with this game. And uh, that didn't really, I mean, I won't say it didn't sit too well. It was it was cool. I mean, if I decide to go to the PS4 over the Xbox One, I know that I'm, I can depend on Metal Gear Solid. But right now, with Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct, man, with Killer Instinct being an exclusive on Xbox One, <laughs> it is so probable that I will go over there. Only if... I can deal with this whole little um, every 24-hour BS that, that's attached to it. Uh, I'm loving the features on the Xbox One. With the um, you have the little Twitch account, uh, you can live stream it. Um, I, I'm loving that. I love. I already love the features from what I, I I saw during their press conference last month. So that I was excited about. Um, PS4 is going to come hard. PS4 has a lot of great games as well already, and um, I'm looking forward to hearing what they're going to bring to the table as well as Nintendo. Nintendo is always my system, man. It's always going to be Nintendo and something else attached to that. So Nintendo is not going to let me down tomorrow when I watch it. Um, I'm hoping um, to see some some Super Smash Brothers, some Legend of Zelda, possibly um, uh, Mario, some Metroid, my girl Samus. I, I, I love Samus, man. That's, that's one of my favorite characters as well, Samus Aaron. Um, I'm looking forward to see some Star Fox, my boy. Um, my boy Sonic the Hedgehog is coming with that Lost World. That's gonna look. That's gonna go hard. Um, I can't wait to see um, Donkey Kong possibly. See some some cool ones. Back to Xbox One. Anyway, so Metal Gear Solid, Killer Instinct, and Halo. Halo Five. When I saw Master Chief from that um, pull back from that um, from that cloak, I, I I got hyped, man. I mean, 
Yeah, it's to be expected Master Chief was going to be at E3. I knew it. I saw it coming. I knew Master Chief was going to be there. It didn't. It didn't shock me at all that I, that he was going to be there. But it was how it happened. That just it was. They had a little magical effect behind it. Master Chief just he's one of my. I keep saying one of my favorites, but it. The, he he is man. He he's up there with with Samus to me. Um, uh, he's no Snake though. Snake is my 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 number one guy. But Chief, he's every man's man, dude. He. He's that guy you do you, you just you can respect as a video game icon. But um Halo 5, I don't even know what it's gonna be about, but I'm gonna get the game because it's Halo. So, um even in um um even with it so I mean eventually I'm I'm pretty much saying that yeah I'm gonna get the Xbox One and I'm not hyped up about it. I'm not ignoring the fact that they completely ducked, bobbed and weaved away from the whole um twenty four hours and or once per day BS I'm not ducking that. They just need to clarify that in the whole use game policy. Um, and once they clarify that, then we're good to go. If it works, if it operates like Microsoft like 360, then I am set. I am good to go. I don't have any issues with it. None. But other than that, Xbox One is looking solid. I mean, Forza 5 looks looks phenomenal, man. And they have some great some great new games. I saw Rise. Rise kind of has that. I won't say God of War effect, but it's it's verging on Greek mythology. It seems with the um, Spartan warriors. The graphics look uh, phenomenal, man. Um, the, um, the direction is great. What else? But yeah, pretty much my standouts were, um, were, were Killer Instinct number one for me. Was that that was a huge standout? Killer Instinct, um, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, and Halo Five. Those are all some great standouts. This Chief's trailer, and um, I also love just a uh, note on the 360. I love that. You know, that says uh, Xbox Live Gold members get to get uh, receive two free games every month leading up to Xbox One's release. So, yeah, that's cool. Um, I, for one, want to get back into Halo 3, and as well as um, as well as Assassin's Creed 2. I just beat Assassin's Creed 2 on the PS3. Assassin's Creed 2 is, is a great game, so I, I won't mind playing that over again story was solid and I feel that from um, what I've seen it was probably the best Assassin's Creed that I've played in Halo 3 just I want to get back into it for the story I want to be on Halo 4 when I get back into the 360 but um, anyway to sum this up I'd probably rate what I saw today from um, Microsoft probably give it maybe like a 6 7 out of 10 it wasn't solid it wasn't like perfect but they did bring have some variety I mean I did see some shooters there which is what's to be expected but they had they had several different style games I was certainly wasn't expecting Killer Instinct, man. Um, I know I keep mentioning Killer Instinct, but you gotta understand, man. It's it's something big for Microsoft to have an exclusive fighting game that legitimately looks good. I mean, it looks like Street Fighter, but still, it does look good. It looks good. The combo system is good. It seems like a faster-paced version of Street Fighter. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about the direction. Um, I mean, I do care about it, but I can compromise easily. So when this Xbox One was $499.99, I'm not going to buy it on launch, of course, but I will eventually get around to getting it, simply because of what I mentioned about Halo 5 and Killer Instinct, and Forza looks great, so I'm de definitely getting into that. Um, and let's wait till tonight, see what this PS4 is about, and I can make my decision between those two systems, because as I have mentioned, I am getting the Nintendo Wii, um, and, um, you know, when all these great games come out, so I'm not getting it anytime soon. And Xbox One is looking solid, so, um, again, they need to clarify those little features, and we'll see what, we, what happens from there. Make sure that everything is great. Uh, thank you all for, 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 for oh, that, not thank you all, but thank you to whoever listened to this. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. Um, E3 tonight, uh, June 10th at 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific time. And E3 for Nintendo tomorrow, so I'll be making another one of these videos. You know, probably later on tonight for PlayStation 4, and then tomorrow we'll eat for Nintendo, and it's probably summing things up as a whole for whoever would like to listen. I appreciate it, man, and uh, take care. This should be interesting.